Today we're going to have a quick look at importing a SketchUp file directly into Blender. There's a fantastic new plugin available which allows you to do this and it works really well. Okay, so let's just have a quick look. If you want to hunt down the plugin, I'll put the link below. But also, if you do a search for Blender SketchUp script, as you can see I've done here, there's a couple, the first couple of links are going to take you straight to it. Okay, so it's free to use, um, it's really easy to use, but you yeah, you need to download it. It doesn't come pre-installed in Blender. So, um, let's go back to SketchUp for a sec and have a look. So, I've just prepped up a basic model here that I've got of a, um, a small pavilion design. I've thrown a couple of extra textures on it just so that you can see that it's going to um, bring in the textures as well when we do this model. Okay, so I just save it as per normal. Um, so save okay I don't need to do any real sort of major preparation for this then I can go into blender and I'm in blender 277 but um, I think it'll work across you know any recent version of blender when you open up if you haven't installed the um, file before you just need to go into your user preferences so I'm just going to go down to this little cube shape tab here which is my 3d view currently and change it to user preferences come over to add-ons and what you need to do is go install from file so install from file click on that and browse to the zip of the file okay so it doesn't need to be unzipped it's easier actually if you just zip it and um, or keep it zipped and just load it straight in okay once you've got it you just need to check on that it's enabled if I search sketch here um, you can see there's an import export SketchUp importer um, and we'll just turn that on okay and it's got a little warning there that says that it's um, a very early preview but don't be put off by that because it works really well okay so I've now got that enabled I can go back to my 3d view and I'm just going to get rid of any geometry so in my case I've got the monkey set up as default but you've probably got the cube and I've got here a light and a camera left that's okay so all I really need to do now is go file import and we can see import SketchUp is down the bottom here now that it's enabled I'm going to go to my desktop and I've labeled it um, here. It's the pavilion. Okay, import SKP, and we can see it's fast. It works really quickly, and um, it's got my model in here. Great thing about it is that it's not scaled all crazily. I don't have to, you know, reduce it or explode it by a thousand percent so that I can see it. You need to have cycles render happening. Okay, that's good. Uh, now let me just tweak up the lighting a little bit. Okay, so um, let me go into the scene and turn this maybe into a sun so it just looks a little bit better. And I'm not going to get too technical for this particular tutorial. Okay, so we're pretty much done as far as showing how to do it. It's, it's easy, okay? But if you want to have a bit of a follow along for the rest, which I'm just going to do a little bit of quick lighting on the model, you're more than welcome to, okay? So... I've just got my sun happening there, I've got my building over there, I don't mind popping in just a qu quickly a ground plane. Okay. Let me just add a ground plane and I'll just scale it up. There we go, I'll just scale it a bit bigger and I'll go a bit bigger again so it just, you know, makes the scene look a little bit better. And I'll just colour that as a grass. New diffuse, and I'll just yeah put just a light kind of grassy colour. Okay, so that's we don't need to worry too much else. I might just change the colour of the sky to white just for the moment. Okay, so we've got our model in. Let's have a quick look at things. So I'm just going to flip it into rendered mode down here in my viewport shading, and let it go. And you can see that we've got a nice you know good looking render of things and uh, the big thing that I really like about this is let me just let it resolve for a few seconds is you can see like on the roof there 
I've got some tile, I've got a tile texture and it's showing up, okay? So that's the great thing about this is it brings in all your textures and you can work with them um, within Blender. Fantastic. That is a major breakthrough, I think. So what I'm going to do is just flip it back into solid mode for a sec. I'm going to select that glass and we might need to just set that up a little bit more carefully. So I'm going to select my material over here and translucent glass blue okay so it's all set up pretty well right except for when we look at the surface type as it comes in as a diffuse um, which is fine so i'm just going to change that to a glass and now if i have a bit of a look at my glass so let me change that to up to rendered yeah okay we can start to see that we've got um, a glass, I haven't got that much glass on this building actually, but let's have a bit of a peeking through this window here. Yeah, you can see that the glass is working quite nicely. That's good. And our world is going quite nicely as well. Okay. Now one thing with lighting this world, we've just got a really basic texture on this at the moment. But if you want to get a little bit more, um, you know, fancy with this, let's click on use nodes in our world. That's good. And let's change this up a little bit. So um, there's a couple of ways you can do it. But I like to use that empty the timeline down here and change this into a node editor, just like this. And down the bottom, there's a world tag. I'm just going to click on that. And I'm going to zoom in a little bit. And we can see at the moment that in the nodes, the world is a white color which is mapping onto the surface of the world, which is effectively a big sphere that covers around the entire scene. So let's change that. We're going to add up a um, texture and let's add up a environment texture. That's cool. And let's just connect the yellow dot to the yellow dot. Okay. So our wiring's working. You can tell that because the scene's gone this magenta color, which means I'm trying to do something, but I haven't got a texture in the slot at the moment. So let's fix that. We're going to go to open and <laughs> and I'm just going to go to my desktop and um, I'm just going to have a look here. I've got a sky and I'll go for the mid-range HDR. You can go and find HDRIs of sky scenes online anywhere you want. Um, just do a search for them. I'm going to click on this one, go open image and you can see now that it's started to apply a HDRI to my scene which allows for a little bit more complex lighting so that is pretty much the start of things in order to tune this up I could put um, emission materials inside the building so that the glass you know was lit up from the inside and the inside looked nice but for the moment I think that's enough um, you've got a, a textured SketchUp model operating within the renderer and um, in Blender and I think that is a fantastic plugin it's one of the best ones I've seen for ages Thank you.